Technology advancements in the NFL are getting outrageous. From robots to woodpecker technology, these are the craziest NFL gadgets. The NFL is the most profitable game in the United States right now, but it's got one major issue, concussions. Players have been getting their brains mashed in like potatoes for decades, and a company called Vices wanted to change that. So they invented high technology helmets aimed to improve performance and offer more safety than helmets of the past. These Vices helmets contain a soft outer shell and an inner layer made of collapsible columns, which help reduce the impact of collisions. Think of it as a helmet with built-in shock absorbers to keep players safe during hard hits. They also added wider peripheral vision and more heat ventilation than helmets from previous decades. Now that's using your noggin. It, it absorbs a little more so when uh, contact is made, it kind of absorbs the pressure and, and it releases it out. But the NFL didn't stop at Vice's helmets. Concussion protocol used to be a joke in the NFL. Guys would get their heads pounded in and end up back on the field moments later. After the game, they would be forced to take on interviews while they had no clue where the frick they were. For all they knew, they were in the lost village of Timbuktu being investigated by naked wombats scheming to overthrow humanity. It was a bad look, and clearly that the league was in desperate need of new concussion protocol. So they started putting X patches on all the players' helmets. These patches, worn behind the ear and in the upper gum shield, assess contact and send data to apps used by team medical staff. Now, when a player thinks he's in Timbuktu, he gets taken out of the damn game. He's able to roll over onto his back, but his legs really have not moved. X-Patch aren't the only things these guys have on their helmets. In fact, these guys are covered in so many patches, you'd think they were trying to quit smoking. BioStamp makes small wearable body patches that can monitor various things, including head impacts. It's a part of a system that uses data analysis and machine learning to give useful feedback. While the X-Patch offers the NFL real-time data, BioStamp patches collect data that are used for clinical studies off the gridiron. Research is great and all, but up next is a gadget company that recognized that NFL players were behaving just like wild animals, but not the kind of animals you might think. NFL players have been clanking heads against one another for decades, and this one company called Q30 Innovations realized something brilliant about the behavior of NFL football players. When they were smashing each other's heads inwards, their actions resembled that of a woodpecker's, a creature that spends their days bonking its head against a tree. So, Q30 investigated why woodpeckers are able to fly away completely unharmed, meanwhile NFL players end up becoming confused bozos being fed through a straw after early retirement. And experts found out that woodpeckers have a collar around their jugular that increases blood pressure towards the brain during contact and avoids the brain from sloshing against the skull like jello. So Q30 invented a Q collar, a brace that can be worn around players' necks to prevent the dreaded brain slosh. I can't see myself going on the football field again with, without the collar. Q collar makes me feel great. It makes me feel prepared. It's one thing to get your brain slosh around on Sunday afternoon, but these guys were ramming into each other all week long. Until someone realized that clobbering your players during practice was flat out stupid. Engineers at Dartmouth University also had interest in tackling the concussion issue in football. So they invented mobile virtual players. Mobile virtual players are robotic dummies that can run around the field like human beings and get tackled over and over again by the NFL's most brutal defensive players without getting injured. Coaches can move these players around like video game players by using controllers to try to evade defenders in practice. Now, guys like Aaron Donald can practice tackling all day without turning their teammates into hamburger meat. Robots, man! I tell you, they are coming for us. And they are coming for you, too. So you better like this video and subscribe to Dropkick. Cause we'll protect you from getting embarrassed by robots. But speaking of embarrassment, there is nothing more embarrassing for a football player than when his balls slip out on national television. It's true, fumbling shame is a real thing in the NFL. That's why High and Tight invented special footballs that NFL players use when they train that teach them not to fumble come game time. They offer sensor-equipped footballs that makes a sound if it's not held properly and close to the body. So by using these gadgety footballs, NFL players can make sure that they stop dropping their balls all over the football field. The NFL is coming up with all sorts of ways to analyze their balls. Scouting NFL talent isn't as easy as you might think. It's not just about who's the fastest and the strongest. These guys want to know the most intimate details you can imagine about amateur and pro players. So they make sure to keep a really close eye on their balls. That's where a company called Catapult comes in. 
What they do is they offer sensors that can be placed onto footballs that give NFL scouts insights into details such as spin rate, velocity, and much more. Things that you would never even consider you wanted to know about NFL players if you didn't have the opportunity to look so closely at their balls. The NFL is on these issues like mango on sticky rice, and they want to protect their fans as badly as they want to protect their players. The NFL is running a sophisticated business. It's not just the players on the field. These guys are bringing in billions of ticket sales, and tens of thousands of drunk hotheads pile into these stadiums week after week to chow down on hot dogs and scream at the top of their lungs. What isn't so simple is figuring out how to get all these knuckleheads in and out of the stadium safely. That's where Vidsys comes in. They offer technology in the logistics field that watches over the game and allows clear communication specifically for security purposes. It allows the sharing of video and data with security teams, police, fire departments, and other safety agencies. Everything goes to a command center where some big kahunas get to watch over the fans like mice and help them get home to their cheese as efficiently as possible. If you think that the stuff you've heard so far is impressive, you just wait. Cause I've saved the craziest, most futuristic gadgets that the NFL is using for the second half of the video. So don't go anywhere. The NFL wanted even more insights into their players, so they partnered with Zebra Technologies. If you are imagining that the NFL trains its players by releasing hungry African zebras onto the practice field to up the intensity, then you couldn't be more wrong. Instead, Zebra Technologies partnered with the NFL to add rad tags to players' shoulder pads. These small devices transmit real-time data to receivers located around the stadium. They track player stats like speed, acceleration, and distance run during the game in order to capture high-level data regarding performance, health, and much more. Which is great and all, but why did they name this stuff after zebras? Naming sensors after zebras confuses me, but naming cameras that get unbelievable angles of the playing field after hawks? Now that makes some sense. We've all seen instant replay at work, but how many of us really know how it works? What's really going on when the ref goes into that little booth to come up with a conclusive rolling on a polarizing play? Well, the answer is they use a technology called Hawkeye. Basically, there are cameras all over the field. When an official goes into his little booth, Hawkeye is going through all the various camera angles that they have available and sending the best angles they have available to booths in New York as well as the on-field officials. And together, they use all the data available to make a decision as quickly and accurately as possible. Which is great, I guess. But how do they get so many calls wrong? Like, did it really take rocket science to realize that Des Bryant caught that touchdown pass against the Packers in 2015? Screw you, Hawkeye! Camera angles are great and all, but some of these next gadgets are straight up outrageous. NFL fans love football so much that they wanted to know what it was like to play in the NFL, but they didn't want to get their brains sloshed. The league who cares deeply about its fans and their money wanted to make their dreams come true, so they partnered with a company called NextVR. By putting cameras in players' helmets, fans can now watch games from a player's perspective by throwing on a pair of goggles. But if you try this, make sure to wear a diaper, cause Micah Parsons is coming right at ya. BAM! But next VR better watch out, cause other companies are creating some other crazy gadgets to change the way fans watch football. Get this, Intel is teaming up with Fox Sports to offer fans a be the player game experience. So you can watch the game from the perspective of any player on the field. Whether you want to know what Patrick Mahomes is seeing or Travis Kelsey, you'll be able to do it this technology doesn't require players to wear cameras. Instead, it synthesizes the view from various cameras around the stadium to provide a unique player's point of view. Now that is just crazy. It's not just about fan experience though. Virtual reality is going to change the way these guys prepare for games. Another VR company called Striver has been offering their virtual reality to NFL teams as opposed to fans. NFL athletes use Striver's VR technology for training. It allows them to watch pre-recorded plays in 360 degrees, helping them prepare for games by providing a realistic and immersive panoramic experience. Their technology takes film study to a whole new level. And here I was thinking virtual reality was just going to provide me with new ways I could choke the chicken. What did he say? I guess that's why these guys are making the big bucks and I'm spending my Saturday night choking my chicken all by myself. <coughs> 
Um, anyway, let's get to number two on our list. Regular reality is getting so boring. Am I right? So Microsoft and the NFL are working on using augmented reality to create 3D holograms of football games. Fans will soon be able to watch games as 3D holograms, seeing the action from different angles and gaining all types of extra information. They'll be able to do so by wearing AR glasses Microsoft is making called HoloLens. The technology is still in development, but Microsoft is confident that this is what the future of watching football is all about. While all these different realities are going to get confusing, this next one just might take the cake as the craziest NFL gadget. Wearable experiments created jerseys with sensory technology called fan jerseys. Basically, when fans wear these jerseys, they can feel the excitement and adrenaline of their favorite NFL team through haptic vibrations in the fabric. Sounds crazy, I know. I mean, I'm just trying to sit on the couch and enjoy my Sunday afternoon. I'm not sure that I need to feel the haptic vibrations of a psycho like Vontez Perfect raging with anger, but I guess the technology sounds pretty cool. Well, there you have it. Those were the craziest NFL gadgets. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Dropkick. And if you want to watch more of my NFL videos, click on one of the links on your screen right now.